Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video on Kotlin coroutines. In this video, we will explore the difference between launch and async. So you are already familiar with the execution pattern of this particular demo that we have been saying. Launch a suspend function and that suspend function basically keeps running long after your main thread has executed. Some of you may say that this particular coroutine will execute it in the main thread itself. So I can actually change that. Uh, I can say launch dispatches.io. When I do that, uh, you are basically now forcing this particular coroutine to work on a separate thread. So if I run this, you will see that now also you are getting the same behavior. But the problem with this approach is sometimes you may actually want to wait for this coroutine to run its execution and then only you want to end the main thread. To get that with launch, you can use join. So if I do this, this will make sure that your main thread doesn't end, your coroutine runs and then once the core routine is done with its execution then you will see that your main function also ends just for simplicity purpose let me remove this dispatches.io because it doesn't make any difference now instead of launch i can also use async and if i run this you will pretty much see the same behavior your main thread will basically wait for the core routine to run its course and then only the main function will end but when you go through the readings about async and launch there is a major difference if you see here the async returns a deferred value and usually with async you use await instead of join and if i run this particular code once again you will see the exact same behavior there is no difference between the way await and join behaves but you need to understand when to use async and when to use launch let's go back to launch and with launch i cannot use await with launch i can only use join now let me try to explain what does this launch and async mean if you see the return type the return type of this particular launch is a job if i can try to assign it i can assign it to a sample variable and then call this join on sample variable dot join and if i run this you will pretty much see the same behavior and if i try to print sample variable you will see that it is a standalone coroutine it's a job basically however if i do async and i will write await and let me run this the return type is deferred coroutine so async returns a deferred coroutine but however launch returns a normal coroutine which is a job the main difference is launch can be used to fire and forget kind of coroutines but however async is used with coroutines where you are waiting for a return value from the suspend function what do i mean by that so let me write a simple suspend function here suspend function sample suspend function this is not returning anything and it has same coroutine name and delay let me just print the same thing i don't want to unnecessarily complicate it but however i will have a delay and let me call this particular function under launch here sample co routine and then delay of one second and if i run this your co routine basically started and ended after the main ended you want to prevent that so what you want to do is join and if i run this you will basically make your main thread to wait on co routine to run its course instead of writing this particular function in such a way that it doesn't return anything let me return something from here say string and return say 
I John Corotin name. So this is the string that you want to return. And you want to access this particular string that has been returned here. With the launch, you can't do that. There is another way to do this. You can write something like dot let print it. You can write something like this, which will print the return value from the suspend function. But I actually want to access whatever this suspend function returned in the context of the main thread. Now to do that, what you can do is assign this variable return value async await and then I can write print return value here. And now if I run this, you will see that I was basically able to make the main function wait for this returned value to be initialized and then use it and then only end it. So that is the main difference between launch and async. We may not be able to fully comprehend the idea behind this. To make it even more easily understandable, I have created another small demo here. I have interface called as API calls. It has got two functions that is register user and get all users. And I have this mock API calls class which extends API calls and register users basically adds the person class to the people which is mutable list of person. And then you have get all users which returns me a response. Of course, I'm trying to mimic a response you might get from a REST API call. It's not fully correct, but to some extent, this is how it would look like. And this is what the response is. Uh, it has a status, integer value, message, and actual data that if at all you want to return something as a part of this response. This is our function. Let's assume that this is our application. Right now, no API calls are being made. So what I want to do is launch API calls dot register user. I want to add a person here. If I run this, we are not too sure whether it ran or not. So what I can do is dot let this is a scope function that I am using print it and if I run this you are seeing that you are getting a response status 200 user successfully registered data is equal to null. It looks quite weird that you are getting a response long after your main application ended. This is not really how it should work. Your main application should ideally wait for API response and do something with it if it really wants to do something with it. So what I can do is launch dot join and then if I just run this now you will ensure that your register user runs and then the main ends. In the same way I can make another call and let me run this. Both the APIs ran. The next obvious operation that is of interest to us is call another function which is get all users. So basically we should be able to see whatever the users that are registered. Launch API calls get all users. If you see the get all users, it is returning a response containing all the users data. So what I want to do is instead of launch, I want to use async, assign it to response and use await and then print ln response is response. And if I run this, both of your register users ran and then you got the response and the response is status 200 message all registered users data is George Hamlin that is the first person that we added and then the second person that we added that is Hannah James and after we got the response then only your main ended. So this is where the launch and async basically comes in handy to handle the async calls of the API. This is just one example. I demonstrated it through API calls, but you can actually imagine quite diverse applications of this. Of course, 
some of you may say that the register users api call also should have been called under async because that also returns a response but then i took a call there that i really don't care what the response is i just want to fire the register user api call and forget about what happens so that's why i put it under launch but however the get all users was put under async of course there are more differences between launch and async when it comes to its usage but this is the main difference to get that brings started us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye